Dupuytren's contracture is a contracture of the fascia in the palm of the hand. The collagen in the hand occasionally becomes contracted, which leads to deformity in the hand, the fingers bending or curling inward. Um, when the fingers bend in and curl inward, people have difficulty, for example, putting on a glove. Oftentimes people go to shake hands with somebody uh, and their fingers are already in their palm and it's uh, you know, a little bit embarrassing. They have difficulty uh, performing even minor tasks associated with grip and strength. I've had to go to left hand only piano music actually. And I've had to word process five fingers here and one here and it'll be nice to use all five of them on both sides again. Dupuytren's contracture is very common. Um, it's more common in men than it is in women, and I'd say most of my patients are uh, between age 50 and age 70 of Northern European descent. What Zyaflex is, is an injection of an enzyme or a collagenase. This enzyme essentially acts to degrade the proteins in the bonds between the cartilage fibrils of the Dupuytren's contracture. Zyaflex injection offers people a, an a opportunity to get on with their lives in a relatively short period of time without really taking any time off of work. Surgical management for Dupuytren's contracture has a long list of complications and in particular a long rehab associated with the process. Have a seat here. Kind of go over what's going on and the plan and the process. Okay. Can you go ahead and make a fist? Great, and straighten that finger out. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a two-stage process. The first stage is today. We're actually going to do an injection of the collagenase or the, the enzyme, which is going to eat that cord. I'm going to go ahead and do three injections through one little stab wound, okay? A tiny little needle prick right into the cord itself. No numbing medicine for today, okay? Typically don't need it. This is just like a little less than a bee sting. How does this go with putting a glove on? Pretty hard. Pretty difficult, huh? That's yep. one of the things around here we hear a lot of the time is people have difficulty getting a glove on. How was that? <laughs> Easy. Not too bad? <laughs> I hardly felt a thing. On day two, patients come back for a Zyflex manipulation. That procedure can be a little bit painful, but we treat that pain with a, a local numbing injection. Um, the enzyme has worked overnight to make that cord softer, to weaken the cord and then we actually just go ahead and break that cord in the office. After doing the Zyaflex injection and manipulation, we put the patient in a splint. They wear that splint for the first 24 hours after the injection. After that, patients are instructed during the daytime to take the splint off, use their hand normally. They wear the splint again at nighttime, um, and they, we give them a, a prescription for some pain medication if they need it. Oftentimes, they don't. All right. Vic, how are you? Perfect. When was the last time that finger was that straight? Oh, a long time ago, Eric. That's great. Holy smokes. Yeah. So it's going to help my golf game, I hope. <laughs> this procedure really is so much better than having an invasive surgery. Now, literally, can I play golf? Yeah. I can. You can play golf today. Great. That's as much as you can ask for from a result. Your finger is almost completely straight. Thanks, Eric. You bet. My pleasure. I'm glad you did so well. Great. Great. Getting to know you. <laughs>